first things first, I appreciate your support. So this is a Hisense washing machine, 9kg. So today we review the Hisense washing machine. It's now a common, common, common machine. Everybody's buying a Hisense. Uh, I think the reason we have uh, so many people buying Hisense washing machines because they are easy to use, but most important, Hisense is affordable. Hisense is a bit cheaper compared to other brands like Kenya region like LG, Samsung, Bosch, Siemens. These are quite expensive machines. And Hisense is cheaper. You'll get the right capacity that you want. And uh, it will give you the same service as other machines. Though... I say durability depends on how you use and maintain the machine. So they are uh, very, very cheap and they are good, 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 good machines. Now, so this is how they look like. Bodywork, they got it, they got it right. They look amazing. The color, this is the color that most of the Dyson machines come with. And uh, the size is also amazing. It's, it's, they, the capacities, the way they have made it, they look a bit bigger compared to other machines. Now, this is a front load washing machines. They do top load and front load. So this is the, how the display looks like. And then this side on your left, uh, right side, right hand side, this is the water dispenser. So it has the dispenser. This is the display board. The display board is attached to the motherboard. And then this is the door. On the door, we have the hook that hooks on the sensor here. This is the locking mechanism. And then the door has a glass, which is transparent, so you can check inside there if the drum is rotating or not. And then it has the filter down here. Now, on the display board, on the same knob that rotates to select the programs, there is a mark that shows the power button. Other machines have a power button somewhere here. So, let's say you want to do a you want to do a wash. You put your soap here. So let's say you put your soap there. You put your softener. Then you close your dispenser. What you do, you select your program. So it has several programs here. There is cotton, like here we have cotton, we have cotton eco, synthetics, wool, quick wash, mix, rinse, spin only if you want to dry clothes. Like uh, maybe you did the hand washing and you need to only spin to dry, you'll use this spin option. We have a drum clean, we have a skin delicate duvet. So we have so many programs here depending on the clothes you want to do. So you'll put your soap, put your clothes, Let's say you've selected your program. Let's say it's a quick wash. It gives you 15. You close the door and then you press start here. So the machine will start the washing. Let's say the drum was rotating. The machine was washing and then in the middle of it, you like, you forgot something. What you do is you post the machine that way. Once you post it, just power it off. Okay, once it's off, you'll give it a minute or one minute and a few seconds, you'll hear a clicking sound from here, meaning the door switch has released the door now, and then you open it. There you go, open the door, and then put what you want to put, close, select, once you select, you return it to the quick wash, and then you press start, and then you'll see uh, lock side meaning the door is closed so you can hear now the noise from the pump running and then also once it's done the machine will say your end once it says end there's a clicking sound you'll hear from here and then you don't op then you open the door so if the machine is locked and still has that this sign here you can't open the door and this applies to all machines eh? if this lock still appears here you can't open the door if you force it to open now you'll have to replace them the latch because you will break the latch or even mess up the, the door switch okay 
and then this machine is easy to use so we said you select any program let's say you are doing a uh, shirts you select your shirts here and then you close the door so let's say you want an extra spin eh? like this one here on this side this is this these programs are automatic this machine is fully automatic what happens is this when you select a skincare shirts duck or any other like wool it selects the, the right temperature for that program if it's cotton it will give you a higher temperature if it's a quick wash it will only give you something like 20 degrees if it's spin it doesn't need to to do it with uh, any temperature here so every program here comes with the, the right temperature and the right spin but you can still adjust if you let's say you've selected cotton huh? so when it's on cotton let's say what let's see what it gives us it gives us 40 degrees so you can adjust and 40 degrees and a thousand revolution per minute that is the speed the drum will rotate at so let's say we switch it off good and then we put it back on cotton eh? so when it's on cotton we say it will give us 40 degrees and uh, a thousand revolution per minute we can come here and adjust the temperature from 40 to whatever you want now you just press the temperature button and it will show you the temperature here 60 95 that is the highest this is almost uh, boiling water so you should only use hot hot water with a higher revolution depending on the clothes you want to do then let's say you've selected 95 degrees now and then a spin from 1000 we can put it to 1200 revolution per minute or we do a low a higher one 1400 revolution this is the high speed and clothes come out more dry you can still decide i'm still going to do that cotton on a on a lower temperature like 20 and then spin you do it at the lowest at 400 or 800 something like that so it's simple so it comes with the extra options here there's a delay and if you want the machine to start or to finish the program later on and then we have more options more option normally is for the rinses let's say you've selected cotton and then you come to the option here you are doing an extra rinse one more rinse two rinses that way so it has a, a good program programmed motherboard and the display is clear easy to use okay something else i uh, need to note about this machine it has a uh, child lock like when you, you you engage the child lock these programs won't work like let's say you don't want someone to use the machine or kids want to do laundry and you don't want them to do that you just come press temperature and spin you long press and the machine will go on child lock so if you try to, to select programs here the programs won't work to remove the child lock you come on temperature and spin you long press and that is out also here this this is the sound the volume this, the, the the sound that you are hearing like when you rotate you can hear that sound so you can easily remove this sound by pressing the spin and the delay button you just long press it and the beep is off so you see there's no beeping on your high sense washing machine to return the beeping sound you long press spin and delay end and the beeping sound is back then the this uh, high sense washing machine comes with a filter so with the filter, let's say you had uh, items that went through the washing machine and went underneath the drum, you open the filter. This is the filter. So they are made in a way you don't need a screwdriver, a flat screwdriver to open. You just press here, hold it and pull it down that way. And then that is the filter. You open the filter. Easy. You see there's water coming out. You open the filter clean it and then you you return it just close make sure it's tight don't use force and then close it back so that filter is very important and easy to open compared to other machines so what i mean is this let's say you are doing laundry and there's a small uh, object pass that pass the the drum during spinning they go through here so when the machine is spinning there's this space between the rubber 
and the metallic drum. The rubber and the metallic drum. They go down there and they end up at the filter. So if the machine is blocked, it's easy. You just open here, remove the filter, and then return. And then uh, something else I noticed on this machine, uh, Hisense, commendable, which is very, very highly recommended, commendable for the good job they did, is uh, the pads. The pads are okay. These are the paddles. Eh? They are big enough. So the paddles help in doing laundry efficiently. So if you need a very, very good clean, if these paddles are too small in your washing machine, clothes won't come out really that clean. So they are good paddles for a good wash. And then the rubber is strong. This rubber is very strong. And it's well clipped. There is a wire that is clipping it. Something else is uh, the space between the rubber and the metallic drum is too small. Other machines, this gap is very, very big. So you can't do small garments like socks. You can't do socks in here. In other machines, uh, they tend to pass. So your machine gets frequent blockages. And when we talk about blockages, the machine will start giving you error codes on the display board. So Hisense, the good thing they did is the space between the drum and the rubber is too small. So it's rare to get a blockage on a Hisense washing machine. Okay, something else is the door hinge. I have machines, so many requests of uh, a certain brand that I won't mention here. The, the hinge breaks very, very, very easily. So they have used a strong, strong material on uh, the hinges. That is a good, good, good thing they did on in their washer. So kudos to Hisense. Then let's say you need to buy a part on this washing machine. When you open the door, there is this sticker here. This sticker has the modern number. So this is the modern number. So when you want to buy a part and a technician asks for the modern number or the supplier, just take a picture of this part and the serial number is here. Also, there is one written on the motherboard, on the, on the display board. Just below the display board, there is also the modern number there. So something else, guys. These machines are fully, fully automatic unless you buy a twin tub fully fully automatic so once you connect your tap the, your water source here and the drainage pipe is well uh, placed at the right drain area you are good to go you'll just do your wash you'll select program put your clothes in there press start let's say you put on spin you press start and then come after the machine is done just come after the machine is done, it will give you an end, so you show end, zero, and then you remove your clothes, good to go. Okay, something else guys, I forgot. Eh? This machine, you see, it's, it's spinning and it's stable. So, uh, these machines come with the, the legs. Eh? We have one here, that is adjustable, and there's another one down there that is adjustable. And the machine, a new machine comes with the spanner, it's spanner. So you can adjust, you can easily adjust. So once you adjust that, if you feel like this, one of it is not touching down correctly, you adjust and then it's well leveled, the machine will not spin, will not, will not make noise or vibrate when spinning. So easy to use, I highly recommend Hisense washing machine. You can go for it. Thanks so much guys, kindly subscribe for more content.